Well, well, well. Look who's back. After completing five extraordinary days in orbit, the Polaris Dawn crew has returned safely to Earth, marking another significant milestone in space exploration. Despite the mission's unprecedented accomplishments, it has not garnered the attention it deserves from government agencies. In addition to its primary objectives, the Polaris Dawn mission set a remarkable record by contributing to the increasing number of humans in orbit. Meanwhile, China continues to advance its efforts with reusable rockets, stepping up its competition with SpaceX. Join us as we delve into these important updates on this episode of Great SpaceX. After five remarkable days in orbit, the Polaris Dawn mission officially concluded on the morning of September 15th, marking yet another significant achievement for SpaceX. The re-entry process began with the Dragon's trunk being jettisoned to burn in orbit while the capsule continued its descent aided by its propulsion system and parachutes. At exactly 3.37 a.m. EDT, the Dragon capsule splashed down near the Dry Tortugas in the Gulf of Mexico, just west of Key West, Florida. Within an hour, a recovery ship arrived to retrieve the astronauts and the capsule. When the hatch opened, the joy on the astronauts' faces was evident, signifying the triumph of the mission. The Polaris Dawn mission faced numerous risks, including radiation, space debris, and the first test of SpaceX his EVA suit during a spacewalk at 700 kilometers. Despite these challenges, the crew achieved significant milestones, including reaching the highest orbit since Apollo 17 and successfully testing Starlink's uninterrupted communication with a 40-minute call to SpaceX headquarters. The success of this mission generated a wave of notable reactions from the aerospace community. At the post-mission press conference, Mission Commander Jared Isaacman enthusiastically proclaimed, And, uh, Polaris Dawn, we are mission complete. Thanks for all the big help pulling this mission together. Astronaut Anna Menon, the first Polaris Dawn astronaut to tweet, simply wrote, Incredible. While SpaceX's X page posted, Dragon and the Polaris Dawn crew splashed down off the coast of Florida, completing the Polaris program's first human spaceflight mission, accompanied by images of the capsule's recovery and the crew's joyful return to Earth. SpaceX founder Elon Musk shared his excitement by tweeting, Welcome back to Earth, and later followed up with a heartfelt message. Polaris crew is home safe and sound. SpaceX's COO Gwen Shotwell added her thoughts, stating, It is with great relief that I welcome you home. This mission was even more extraordinary than I anticipated. Even former NASA astronaut Chris Hadfield had his own glowing congratulatory statements. Congratulations on the safe and flawless execution of a complex mission pushing the boundaries. Bodes well for the future. Of course, it was difficult not to notice the lack of recognition from governmental agencies. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson did offer congratulations on September 12th after the first ever commercial spacewalk, noting it was a giant leap forward for the commercial space industry and aligned with NASA's long-term goal of building a vibrant U.S. space economy. However, beyond this, there was a conspicuous absence of further acknowledgement from NASA, the FAA, or SpaceX's key competitors, such as Boeing, Blue Origin, and ULA. This lack of enthusiasm raises concerns about whether the U.S. government is fully recognizing the critical role SpaceX plays in maintaining American leadership in the aerospace sector, especially given the increasing competition from China. Interestingly, while U.S. government agencies remained quiet, China's space agency extended their congratulations, stating, Congratulations on another leap forward for humanity. A special thanks to the astronauts who demonstrated that anyone in average health has not only the physical capability to travel to space, but can also perform spacewalks, looking forward to cost reduction of space travels. The contrast in responses highlights the disparity between how SpaceX's achievements are perceived domestically versus abroad. Despite this, SpaceX's accomplishments with Polaris Dawn remain undeniable, further solidifying the company's standing as the leader in modern space exploration. This mission was a technical and operational success, proving SpaceX's technological prowess. The crew accomplished a series of critical milestones that will serve as the foundation for future missions, including potential rescue missions for Hubble, as previously suggested, and more importantly, a similar mission with the Starship spacecraft. Isaacman himself has hinted at future plans involving Starship, a project poised to further revolutionize space travel. Yet, despite these remarkable achievements, SpaceX continues to face roadblocks, particularly from the FAA. 
Starship Flight 5, which could open a new era in aerospace with its revolutionary landing method, has been delayed due to FAA regulatory hurdles. While SpaceX has proven its ability to innovate and push boundaries, the FAA's delays have hindered its progress. The lack of significant support from U.S. government agencies only exacerbates the challenge. As Musk noted, unless there is significant government reform, laws and regulations will keep getting worse every year until every great endeavor, from high-speed rail between our cities to making life multiplanetary, is effectively illegal. Nevertheless, SpaceX has demonstrated resilience in the face of adversity. The data gathered from Polaris Dawn will soon be released, providing valuable insights that will propel future missions. This mission serves as a testament to SpaceX's potential, not just in low Earth orbit, but beyond. As the company continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, it's clear that SpaceX is building the foundation for humanity's future in space. So, while the government may not be paying attention, the world certainly is. Polaris Dawn is not just another space mission, it's a pivotal chapter in the ongoing story of human space exploration. Let's continue to support SpaceX and celebrate these milestones as they set their sights on even greater achievements. The future of space travel is unfolding before our very eyes, and we are all fortunate to witness it firsthand. Stay tuned for more updates on this incredible journey. In recent efforts, Polaris Dawn made a significant contribution to setting a new record for the number of humans in orbit. On September 11th, following the arrival of Russia's Soyuz spacecraft at the ISS, the number of people in orbit reached 19, surpassing last year's record of 17. At present, there are 12 astronauts aboard the ISS. NASA has seven astronauts including Michael Barat, Tracy Caldwell Dyson, Matthew Dominic, Jeanette Epps, Butch Wilmore, Suni Williams, and Don Pettit. Roscosmos has five astronauts, Nikolai Shubb, Alexander Grabenkin, Ole Kononenko, Alexei Ovchinin, and Ivan Wagner. Additionally, China's Tiangong Space Station is home to three Taikonauts, Li Gong, Li Guangsu, and Yu Guangfu. The Polaris Dawn mission added four astronauts to this tally, Jared Isaacman, Sarah Gillis, Anna Menon, and Scott Poteet. While the Soyuz mission directly created this new record, the contribution of Polaris Dawn cannot be overlooked. Currently, with the return of four astronauts, only 15 remain in orbit. Moreover, SpaceX has played a crucial role in supporting and maintaining ISS operations for years. We also can't forget Starliner's contribution, albeit indirect. With its issues, two Starliner astronauts had to remain in orbit to work and are scheduled to return on Dragon early next year, adding to the record. In light of that, perhaps a humorous nod to Boeing is in order. Space exploration is becoming increasingly accessible, benefiting everyone. SpaceX remains a key driver of this progress. With further advancements, including the anticipated involvement of Starship, we can look forward to even more record-breaking achievements in the near future. Now, let's turn to China for their latest update on reusable rocket technology. On September 11th, Chinese launch startup Landspace conducted a successful 10-kilometer vertical liftoff and landing test at the Jiuquan spaceport as part of their development of a reusable orbital rocket. The test, which took place around 12 a.m. Eastern, marked a significant milestone by validating the vertical takeoff and landing, or VTVL recovery capabilities of the Zhuchui-3 VTVL-1 rocket. The flight lasted 200 seconds, including China's first ever secondary ignition during a VTVL test. The rocket reached an altitude of 10,002 meters, with the engine cutting off after 113 seconds, followed by a gliding descent. The landing burn commenced at 4,640 meters, and the rocket touched down just 1.7 meters from the center of the launch pad, located 3.2 kilometers from the launch site. Earlier in January, Landspace conducted a 350-meter VTVL test using the same Zhuchui-3 VTVL-1 test article. This latest test featured a new four-piece grid fin system, further enhancing its control and recovery capabilities. The Zhuchui-3 rocket, which is stainless steel and powered by methalox, or methane liquid oxygen, is designed to be a reusable launcher. It'll stand 76.6 meters tall, have a diameter of 4.5 meters, and weigh 660 tons at liftoff. Equipped with nine Tianchui 12B engines, its payload capacity to low Earth orbit, or LEO, will vary. 21 tons when expendable, 18.3 tons with first stage downrange recovery, and 12.5 tons when returning to the launch site. 
Landspace plans to launch its first orbital flight in 2025, with the goal of recovering and reusing the first stage in 2026. This successful test, along with two missions last year, demonstrates the company's serious ambitions in developing reusable rocket technology. As Landspace makes strides, the pressure mounts for SpaceX and Starship to continue advancing their own efforts in reusable space technology. However, SpaceX is currently facing regulatory challenges from the FAA, which may slow progress. The U.S. will need to overcome these barriers quickly to stay ahead of China's growing capabilities. With SpaceX's strength, I'm confident they will rise to the challenge, but for now, we'll have to wait and see. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.